call the uh, July meeting of the Ranch Marietta Association Board to order. Uh, first item of business is roll call. Uh, yes, Bob Lucas. Here. Larry Shelton. Here. Sean Here. Here. Bob Brown. Here. Thanks, darling. Next item is public comments. The public shall have the opportunity to directly address the board on any item of interest. Public comments on items not on the agenda and within the jurisdiction of the board are welcome, subject to a reasonable time limitation for each speaker. If you wish to address the board at this time, please state your name and lot number and reserve your comments to no more than three minutes so that others may be allowed to speak. No action will be taken. Each item of business will be introduced to the president. Public comment for that item will be open. The public will have the opportunity to speak on that item. Public comment for that item will then be closed and no additional public comment will be allowed. At that time, the board will discuss the item and then take action. Do we have any public comments? Briggs, are you gonna step up to the, or whoever, go first. Going to step up to the podium, state your name, and give us your lot number or at least your address. I'm you Dorothy know. Pisani, and I'm lot 1050. Um, I have a problem with the creek bed behind me. Uh, there's several problems with it. I, it's, I, I'm sorry, ma'am. Just your street address. Oh, so it's can... 6618 Camino de Luna. Okay. So there's a creek bed running behind my property. And I called CSD because they normally maintain the, the beds and uh, they said no, they're short of manpower now and they're gonna try something new and they're not gonna be cutting down the grass. Well, it's growing higher and higher. Parts of it are very dry. They're a fire hazard. There is a coyote that lives now in this tall grass. I've got granddaughters that are over visiting me, um, and so I was really concerned. I called the second time, and they said, no, uh, we're no longer cutting it, but we might come by and cut it, but we don't know when. And I said, well, there's a lot of mosquitoes now, uh, and uh, a neighbor said that she's seen a couple of snakes and we're all kind of concerned that it's unsightly and it's a hazard fire hazard and it's not safe for my daughters my granddaughters to be outside unattended because of the wild little critters that are out there so i'm wondering what can be done uh, because something needs to be done so i guess for my own edification ma'am I'm not familiar with it, so uh -huh. annually CSD has always maintained the uh, creek bed. Right. He, that, they have, and they said that they're short of manpower now, and they're trying something new. They're going to let some of them go because it uh, creates uh, some kind of a filtration or something. And so he said there, it's an in an experimental phase, and I said, well, I just need it to be I, I've safe. I've been that way for five years on this board, but that's a whole different Yeah, <laughs> I, know. I just need it to be safe and free of fire hazard, and the neighbors on my uh, cul-de-sac were pretty concerned because it's getting higher and higher, and it's, it's quite a sight, and Dorothy. everything else is cut down besides this, so. Um, I'm not familiar exactly with. I have photos of it. With, with, with your location, but uh, your comment about CSD looking at a different way to maintain some of the uh, grassy areas or the um, the drainage systems. One of the one of the things that their that residents have been concerned about is those those drainage systems, whether they're fed through through a golf course or natural uh, conditions is the nutrients that is carried into a, a, a lake, uh, Guadalupe Lake or, or the Front Lake oh. or one of the others. And so the typical way to do that, to, the typical way to help control that is using the vegetation or the grass as a natural filter. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I know that that's CSD's policy to start looking at that as a way to control the nutrients that get into these water bodies that 
that cause the algae blooms and things that everybody complains about. Mm -hmm. So th they're trying to reach that balance, I'm sure. I'm, I'm not I'm not certain about your local area I'm and your, sure your specific condition, but but I do are. know that that's one of their policies that I, has kind of been modified slightly with time. And yes, they've cut it sent for 13 years since I've been out here. So this is the first year, and but they seem a little bit iffy as to what is going to happen in the future. And right now, I'm just concerned about the fire hazards. Sure, and, no, I understand you know, my, that. The I, safety, yeah, too. Well, I guess my thing is if it's CSD maintains it, I don't know that we have jurisdiction <laughs> over it as RMA. But I don't know, Rod, do you yeah. know anything about this area? Or which is... Or Greg oh, yes, or something. Yeah. I did talk to the CSD general right. this afternoon. I told him to expect it to be tomorrow night. Oh, good. He said that he is going to uh, research and have an answer for you tomorrow night. Uh, but he did think that they had uh, brought on some 10 people that were going to be doing some, uh, some of the weeding and some of the dishes. Oh, okay. He did ask that you would be attending tomorrow night and get that all <laughs> Okay. So this is something that it's strictly a CSD? It's not ours, yeah. Okay. Makes sense? All right, thanks. So. But grab cookies, because I don't think they give cookies at their meeting. Just, just, little, just a little, uh, little hint there. All right, there we go. Briggs, do you want to? Yeah. Thank you very much. My name is Briggs Matsko, and uh, my lot number is 3009. And my address is 15359 Clementia Circle, back on the back lake, uh, Lake Chesbro. Uh, I have three things to discuss, so I'll be, try to keep each one to a minute. The first one is, uh, uh, and I've spoken with Greg and Mark about this, it's the burned out house on, I'm sure you've heard about it before, on, uh, Chesbro, on uh, Camino del Lago right, and, and the Marietta intersection Parkway. Right. It's been several years, I drive by and look at it every day. Uh, guests are saying to me, hey, uh, Gosh, the last time I was here, that thing was burned. It was like that. Uh, you know, your neighborhood's mansion. going downhill. Yeah. Uh, I, I know it's an insurance deal. I kind of know what that's about. I'm, I'm in that business, so there's no reason it should take that long. Uh, regardless, I, I know that there's a, it's somewhere in the CCNRs. I can't quote it, but we have to keep up our lots, right? You have to maintain them where you get fined, and mm -hmm. that lot certainly doesn't look like it's been maintained. So um, I hope. I, I, I was told, I think, by you yesterday, Greg, that there's a uh, uh, demolition permit now done, and so it should be done. I'm just kind of curious as the timing. Anybody know? I don't know. Greg would know. Or yeah, I'm not. I can't. I can't guarantee a timeline. I do know the demolition permit is with the county right now for their approval, and that the homeowner and the insurance company have come to an agreement uh, as far as the teardown goes. And I think for the last 18 months, that's been the, the debate between the homeowner and the insurance company. But apparently, they've resolved their differences, yeah. and the permit is at the county for them to approve. It would seem to me that our body, though, here as homeowners, uh, we all have to suffer the pain of looking at that eyesore. And so it would seem that our body here would have something in the CCNRs about any time we have. I've, there's been a couple of house fires out here. They certainly didn't take that long to demo. Uh, insurance, insurance and the homeowner, that's their problem. We have to have established rules. So to me, what, as a what, community, we would have some type of rule. Okay, so, so let's say we had a year or two. What do we have this person do? Like, I didn't lose all my belongings in the house. Uh, I get probably the HOAs, the last of this guy's problems. I have no idea. Uh, I was gonna mention to Greg, but I'll bring it up now. It won't come off your time. Thank you for having the fence down and maintenance of the weeds and stuff done. I understand what you're saying. Um, the upside is we don't have a lot of fires in, in this community. So when we have those, uh, it does take a while. I don't have an answer. Um, I, I understand your frustration. Um, I can't imagine being him or them and thinking the HOA is putting pressure because he's trying to work something out for the best of yeah, I, I, I understand that. There needs to be a reasonable time frame set. No, I, I this agree has with been, that. This has been and several think... years. It hasn't been six months. Uh, I'm sympathetic to the homeowner. I certainly understand that. Uh, I'm in the insurance business myself, so the fact that they want to litigate or go back and forth or whatever they need to do, but the community has a responsibility to maintain, to keep, the, to make the community nice. That's why we have a board. That's why we have CCNR. So, in my opinion. Uh, I would hope that if we don't have something in the CCNRs that we would maybe uh, 
propose something that would at least, uh, I'm not looking to you know, penalize the homeowner, but we certainly have a community here that's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just unattractive. That's my first yeah, issue. Yeah, no, I, and I don't disagree with that. I think our ultimate um, sort of authority there is, a, I don't know, we can't really do much more than fine the homeowner for failing to maintain his property eventually. We can't foreclose on it, we can't. Well, it's always the opportunity to amend the CCNRs and, yeah. and at least set down some policy, right? And you can pressure the insurance company. I mean, the insurance company can be held liable by the by the community. Yeah. So they, they can't you can't string it out forever. Otherwise, we could have all kinds of situations. Yeah, no, and I I, I think we probably deserve to be more proactive in situations than maybe we are when there's. Yeah. When there's and by the way, uh, let, let me just say I appreciate abandoned having property or whatever. Having yeah. served on two boards out here, one for seven years, MTI. And having served in the men's club board, I know it's a thankless job, so I appreciate your, your, <laughs> your dedication to this uh, process and uh, keeping the community nice. So thank you very much for that. Thanks for my it. second issue is uh, I, uh, right across from my property, there's a sidewalk that's in a uh, state of disrepair, or has been for a year. There's a cone sitting there for the past mm, four or five months. Uh, it's cracked. I understand concrete work has been appropriated, but uh, I just like an idea from somebody whether it's you, Greg, or Mark, or somebody, when someone's going to come out and do that cement work, uh, I'm getting tired of looking at the cone every time. I, I look at the cone, drive out of my house, I look at the cone in the morning, then I drive to the corner, I look at the, I look at the burned out house, and I think. Have, have you thought about taking a different route? Maybe I should out. back out. That's yeah. what I you should know, do. Maybe, <laughs> well, just saying. So I just wanted to bring it up to the board, you know, I just say, look, you know, it just, yeah. uh, Got it. all I'm asking is just for some ideas of when things are going to happen. Okay. It doesn't have to happen tomorrow. Those are my primary things. So, well, if it makes you feel any better, I don't get any respect, and I'm theoretically the president of this. <laughs> I have a feeling of too. Well, first off, I thought that's, that's why you bought your boat, so you could take a different direction. There but, you go. There you go. <laughs> um, actually, uh, you're right. We have um, appropriated funds for doing that this year. <clears throat> we, um, and we've started that process, actually. We started some of that concrete work today, um, and uh, our asphalt contractor is also going to be doing some. <clears throat> so I, I'm hesitant in giving you a firm uh, time frame, but uh, we should certainly start work on that within a month. Will it be this year? Yes. Okay, that's good. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Todd, how about a new cone? He's easy. Can you get a different See, I'm, I'm, I'm easily, I'm easily satisfied. Up. You know, I'm easily satisfied. Just so I, if it's going to be this year, that's great. I just didn't want it to keep, be another year. All right. Last but not least, um, this is an issue that uh, probably is going to be open for debate, but um, have, one of the five people that live on that street of Clementia, coming out of there, um, especially when there's concerts or anything else, but there's always a traffic problem with the people coming out, and a lot of times people coming out at a high speed, which they shouldn't be doing, and coming down the hill from Clementia, there's no yield. Who yields, right? And so I talked to the CAC, uh, to one of the officers the other day, and he says, well, it's whoever gets there first. And the, but when it's dark and golf carts are coming with no lights, it's just an accident waiting to happen. So my, I propose that you put a yield or a stop sign at that access gate for traffic coming out, not necessarily going in, but traffic coming out has to stop at that, at that access. I, I, That'll I mean, slow that people down. I think we got plenty of, plenty of stop signs in, in stock probably. It wouldn't take much to put a pole there, put a yeah, stop we sign. We could actually take one off of the park. Cool. <laughs> <You know. laughs> I remember when there used to be no stop sign there. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I, get remember, confused, I get confused by that yeah, one as well. Yeah, I used to live on Lago. No Maybe we could take the stop sign that Landwehr always wanted to get removed on the parkway and move it over there. So, so. so the, the reason, other thing I'd like you to note is there's a lot of outside activity outside the complex that goes to that back lake, right? Parties and ETC, and, right. and I'm all for all that stuff. I love the food trucks, love all that stuff. I know they go up there now, yeah. but it's great that we have that facility back there. But there are those who come out of there, right. hell bent, coming off that dirt road, okay. not looking up the Clementia. And from Clementia, you can see them, but from there, they can't see Clementia. And I'm just worried someone's going to hit somebody. No, it makes sense. You know? Man, it does make sense. So it, might, it just would be, it right. seems like it would be an easy thing to do. And that would yeah. be him Saturday night, but yes. See, I, I, okay. I, I, no, I'm not a difficult guy. That's all I have. That's all it? Right, any questions or anything Thank you, sir. Me? Appreciate your time. No, Thank no you. Problem. I sent I sent you a letter. Uh, um, you know, Briggs? Okay, Greg, outlining it all. Briggs, I have a question yeah. for you. Yeah. Um, you said that today? I did, this afternoon. 
Um, Briggs recently completed a really fantastic um, aerial view video that it was posted on Facebook by his son who is into um, drones and it was um, over over the um, over the amphitheater and it was a night of a concert it was the fourth of July I think when wasn't it that yeah, weekend? We took yeah. it on the perimeter, that weekend. On the perimeter and it was, around it, it was really really neat and I would I think it'd be really nice to have that presentation at a board meeting sometime in the future have your son come and do that it's it would it's such a great promotion drone in here? <laughs> it's, it, I, I think it'd be very informative for the community and oh. for the board. I also think it's a great promotional for our community. And it would be neat to put it on our website or those kind of things. And um, it would be nice to have him come and present it and learn a little bit more about what, you know, what possibilities we might have to do in our community for that. Well, thank you, Cheryl. He's so shy. You know, he, uh, he's a better pilot than I am. I do the production and stuff when he gets it done, and, and so we just thought it'd be fun to film that and put some music to it. We got 6,600 views. Yeah. yeah it's no, amazing. It's yeah. yeah. It. So it just, you know, it's kind of a cool thing. We have such a great community in there. There are, you know, we have to be careful with the flight paths and all from the planes and all that stuff and obey all those rules, but there's a lot of good um, aerial footage we could do. That would be great to promote the community and the yeah, I think it would be a great presentation. I think young people would, you know, if we, we advertised it in our newsletter or whatever, there might be some young people that would want to come and watch it. And I think it would be, you know, some things thing that we could use for the future. Awesome. Thanks. You said you had, six, you had 6,600 views. Where can you view it, view it at? Facebook. Uh, well, it's on Facebook, Facebook. Um, but I can send it to you if you want. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, um, actually, if you send it to Greg, he can send it out to all the board members. And they can get at least a little bit of a view of it. And happy then, to do it. But yeah. be, I think it would really look neat on the big screen. Yeah, happy to do it. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate right, your time. Thank you, right, thank you for your efforts. Yep. Appreciate it. All right, any other public comment? I see anybody else from the public here? <laughs> and you don't have to stay, please. Don't waste your evening, okay? <laughs> Leave. Please. Uh, you're, 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 man, I'm taking notes. <laughs> yeah, it should be. It's going to get real exciting. The consent calendar is going to be contentious, I can tell you right now. Um, all right, next item of business, the consent calendar. Consent calendar items are considered routine and will be approved by one motion. There will be no discussion of the items unless the director requests a specific item be removed. Does any uh, director request an item to be removed? Okay, hearing none, do we have a motion and a second to approve the consent calendar? Make a motion to approve the consent calendar. Right, second. I'll second. All right, you got a motion and second to approve the consent calendar. Any other comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? It passes unanimously. Next item of business is the approval of the minutes for the June 20, 2017 board meeting. We have a motion to approve. I would make a motion that we approve the uh, minutes of the board meeting for June 20th. All right. Do we have a second? I'll second that. You got a motion and second to approve the minutes for the June 20th board meeting. Any discussion, comments, uh, any corrections needed? All right. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Passes unanimously. Uh, next item of business is the president's report. Uh, prior to today's open session, we met uh, in exec executive session for an hour. Uh, we discussed uh, some contract issues and contract negotiations, and, uh, and uh, we discussed some legal issues and passed uh, the minutes of the previous executive session. That's the end of my report. Uh, general manager's report. The first item is the update on the Greens Park. Uh, grading and underground work is not complete. I thought it would be last week when I wrote this memo. Uh, but we are hopefully be ready for concrete uh, guys to start by end of day tomorrow. But we don't expect him to show up until Friday or Monday of next week. Uh, but most of the underground work is done. Uh, we've got a lot of the grading done. And we're now we're cutting in the areas uh, where the concrete is going to be going. And so there's definite progress uh, going on. Uh, the next item is the Laguna Joaquin lake levels. Uh, the front lake has been dropping and is going to continue to drop. Uh, the issue is the CSD has shut down the Anderson Irrigation Ditch to allow the piping of the ditch south of Highway 16 from the river to the general store. The shutting down the ditch prevents the refilling of the front lake. 
uh, RMA as well as the downstream ranchers who rely on the water stored in the front lake and without the ability to divert water from the ditch to the lake, the front lake is going to get lower. Uh, the ditch was shut down on June 27th and is anticipated uh, to be another four to six weeks before the piping is complete. Uh, the CSD is pushing Rancho North to accelerate the schedule and is exploring various ways to uh, uh, maintain the lake level uh, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, but we use probably about, I think, about six uh, inches of water out of the lake a week. Uh, the downstream owners uh, or the farmers were trying to use some of the water but they were finding out the flow wasn't sufficient enough for their siphons to work into the field. And so they're not going to be drawing any more water from the lake. So the water that we'll be using will be strictly for RMA irrigation. Any questions? Midge flies. How is it affecting the midge flies? Uh, well, that's, that's all you I had to go okay? there. Are they going to survive? <laughs> You're you out know, of order, I, Mr. I <laughs> really was going to try not to bring up midge flies until you <laughs> left the board. Uh, but since you have started the conversation, it, it, is, a, <laughs> it is a valid topic. Um, the midge flies have increased significantly. Sorry, Cheryl. And uh, uh, CSD has actually added three applications of the granular insecticide already this year and plan on adding one more, which is a significant increase than what they've done sure. in the past. The reason we're getting the increase is basically because if you take the six or eight feet of water that's typically in this lake uh, on a typical summer day at 90 degrees, the water temperature stays fairly consistent and it doesn't necessarily uh, encourage their, their breeding and hatching. But what we have been exposed to in the last two weeks is lower lake levels, shallower water, um, and, and 110 degree temperatures. Uh, so they have increased their hatching tremendously because of that. And it's, and we, we can't use that as an example that the granular isn't working. We have to use that as an example that when you have adverse conditions like this, you're still gonna have to deal with the midge flies. Okay. So all that work is for nothing. No. Okay. And that's the end of my report. I do have a motion to censor Mr. Maybe for his house. <laughs> I second. <laughs> all right, that's the end of your report, Greg. Sir. Um, all right, next item, committees, uh, finance committee. Okay, well, the finance committee um, at this month, July 13th, and um, we did the usual approving of the minutes, and um, we also um, the rehabilitation project, and we also approved the uh, purchase of a Toro mower replacement and the Guadalupe Lake fountain replacement. We also had um, had to approve uh, the plans for a 2017 audit by um, approving a bid from Levy, Erlinger, and Company, and we got a chance to look at the financial statements. That was took us about an hour, and we turned at 5:15. I have a question: Is this the same company we've been using to do the the audit reviews and stuff for the last three years? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do we need we need a motion from the board? I think Cheryl to do we put, yeah, approve the bill for the, the bid for the full audit for the Toro? Yeah. No, for the for the audit. Oh, for the audit. Yeah, okay. For All right. Levy. Company. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Okay. So I need a motion to approve the bid for a full audit from um, by this company. I will make the motion to approve seven thousand six hundred twenty-five dollars uh, to um, Levy and Engler. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll second uh, the motion for the audit. I'll second. Okay, so we have a motion to approve the bid for a full audit from Levy, Erlinger, and Company in the amount not to exceed $7,625. Any other discussion on that? All right, hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? No, passes unanimously. Or anything else, Cheryl? Is that it? That's it. All right, next item is the um, Architectural Review Committee. Sam's not here. Are you going to give that, Mark? Yeah. 
Um, the ARC committee did not meet since our last board meeting, but I do have four common area leases that are a change of ownership to bring forward for your consideration. And that's lot 25, 1446, 1691, and 2029. All right, I will be, uh, I'll make the, mo the chair will make the motion, I guess, uh, to uh, approve the change of ownership, common area, common area lease agreements for lots 25, 1446, 1691, and 2029. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Right. We have a motion and second to approve the common area lease agreements. Any comments, questions, concerns? All right, hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That passes unanimously. Very good. Our next committee meeting is this Thursday, and that's the end of my report. All right, thanks, Mark. Communications Committee, Cheryl. And our Communications uh, co Committee did not meet this month. Okay. So what you meant in finance, what you want to do in communication. That's <laughs> one at a time. No, 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 that's fine. Okay. All great. right, uh, compliance. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, we had a compliance meeting on the 10th. Uh, you can see by the, the printout, uh, we had several appeals. Um, what was nice is Alex sat in for some of his own edification. Oh, I thought and, he was getting fine. Oh, I, I, I think we're, no, I think you're finding the next uh, compliance uh, committee chair if uh, Rob plays it right. Um, the other is uh, Ed Krause, the acting general manager from CSD, was there representing security. I think that was uh, needed uh, in light of. Uh, some some leadership changes that that they have going there. Um, with that said, I'm going to move on to uh, the next portion of the binder, and I'm not a thousand percent sure which way to go on this. So I think we're going to go forward, and that is the uh, proposed non-arc rule uh, motor vehicles section 16 use of streets. Um, I think we've all read a good portion, if not all of them, and some of them a couple of times. Uh, the fundamental question I have to staff is um, residents are making comments about liability. I do not understand any liability that RMA is incurring by use of streets, any more than what we would have for any other given day, drone, golf cart, whoever is, is using it. Is that my understanding? Is my understanding correct? Yes. Okay. So with that said, um, Mr. President? Yes. Well, we can either... Um, I can take it back to committee. You take it back to committee. We could drop it. We could adopt the rule. We can decide not to adopt the rule. I why would you, take, why would you take it back to committee? It ori originated there for them to see the comments. Oh, I see. see okay. If, All right. They haven't if, seen these yet. Then. Yeah. If, if there's any further changes to be right. made to the or rule. If, or if, do we even need it, et cetera, et cetera. I think, well, bring it back. Yeah, I think it's fine to go ahead and adopt as it is. Let me, I guess, remind the board. We actually, <laughs> we, meaning the board, or the prior iteration of the board, actually approved the use of segues and about five years ago, 2011, 2012. And so this is just really an attempt to actually memorialize that in, in writing. So we're not doing anything really new other than we went back and looked and found out it wasn't in writing, so. Yeah. Plus, I mean, I think 41 comments out of the 20, 2,500 plus residents that we have here is fairly low. And that I would caution us to not feel like this represents the majority of the community. You know, and and no, I would know that. Right, and I know you I know you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably thirty nine of them are consistent in yeah. view. Yeah. But they, I, they, they, they all had a meeting and got together on what they were gonna talk about. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think it's all the same handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well some well, of the hand did. handwriting is totally illegible, so I mean I can't yeah. well, that was mine that I <laughs> And you will note that uh, the certain individuals who own multiple properties responded multiple Right. <laughs> times too. So I mean, it's really small. 
It's your call, uh, Mr. President. If you want to go for a vote, that's fine. If you want to go back to compliance, we'll, well I'm happy to call for a vote, but somebody needs to make a motion. And I would like to make a motion that we approve uh, the use of electrical personal assist mobile devices, which is commonly known as EPAMD, uh, as a, uh, outlined by California Vehicle Code Section 313. Uh, so your, your, your motion, if I could restate it, Larry, is to adopt the rule? As That's right. Approved. Okay. <laughs> adopt the non arc rule change. Okay. Do we have a second on that? I'll second that. All right. We have a motion and a second to appro approve the non arc rule change uh, regarding uh, EPA and I, I think staff, it, it, did I jump the gun on this? Well, no. I, and I, I don't vote. <laughs> But I think we asked folks for their um, input and opinions, and I think we should take a look at them. There may be some things about the rule that would tweak that would be helpful. And actually, 41 responses is a lot. Usually, if we get 10, that's a lot. This is well, I mean, compared to all the residents, I mean, you know, people normally only respond if they're against something, and there's only like three people that were okay with it. And we, yes, we did look at them. We read them all. I think we all read them and considered them, and thought the rule is written I'm, is, I'm is honestly fine. I'm honestly amazed at how long a very simple policy has taken and the staff time that it's taken uh, I'm amazed by it for something that we might have five people that ride these things well, I don't disagree. and certainly if there's an issue that needs addressed I guess in the future we could add modify a rule or add different rules well, we could. It would have to go out for again, but yeah but I mean as I say that. <laughs> okay all right, well, any other comments, questions from staff, board members? Personally, I would like to public. I would like to take it back to discussion in, in an executive session before we vote, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, well, we can't discuss well, it. Well, at, at a different meeting? No, we can't discuss it in an executive okay. session because it doesn't fall within the executive session okay. parameters. So. Um, Anything else? We have a motion and a second to approve the rule. All right, hearing nothing else, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. I oppose. All right, we have three yes and two no. So, passes. I, I, I'm curious as to why, why you're not, we're not supporting it. You're not sharing something here with us? <laughs> no, I, and I don't want to belabor, but I think um, it's a problem in search of a solution. Um, I think that whether you've got electronic uh, bicycles, whether you've got electronic skateboards, um, it's, it's one of those, is it, is it a volume issue um, or is it um, not an issue at all? And, and my opinion as a board member, because I won't give you my personal one, is uh, it's, it's, it's a non-issue at this point in time. I think that there are bigger, long-range electronic devices that are coming. I think we have more of an issue with drones over personal property and, and people being exposed by drones than we do the use of the streets. But nonetheless, um, I just don't think it's what we need for short term, but that's, that's where I'm at. All right, thanks, Tim. Anything else? All right, anything else from compliance? No, sir. All right. Uh, next uh, committee meeting would be governing docs. Uh, we did not have a meeting of governing docs this month. Maintenance, Larry. Maintenance met on June 10th. Um, approved the minutes of the previous meeting and um, we approved the the purchase of a new pump in Guadalupe Lake, which is um, well within the scope of the uh, money that's been reserved for that purchase, and the residents of the lake had voted to uh, have a new pump since the old one quit working. Um, and so I would like to make a motion that, that uh, we uh, move to approve uh, the purchase of a new pump for Guadalupe Lake. I have a motion to approve a new pump. Do we have a second? 
Yeah, I'll second it. All right. So a motion and a second. Any other questions, comments? Um, okay, hearing none, all those in favor of approving a new uh, pump for Guadalupe Lake, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Uh, we also um, uh, move to approve uh, the purchase of a mower, which is, again, uh, the bid is well within the uh, uh, the money set aside to, uh, to purchase that mower, and the um, <coughs> the bid for that mower um, came in at uh, the bid that was selected came in at forty six thousand three hundred and sixty three dollars and sixty nine cents, and I would like to make a motion that we approve that for. Um, Turf Star Western uh, for the Toro uh, Grandmaster 360. And that would come out of reserves, I understand? That comes out of reserves, that's correct. Okay. All right, we have a motion to approve the amount of $46,363.69 from reserves to purchase a Toro uh, mower uh, from Turf Star Western. Do we have a second? I have a motion and a second. Uh, any other comments, questions? All right, hearing none, all in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Passes unanimously. You got one more, I think? I have another one. Uh, the asphalt uh, rehabilitation uh, program for this year. Um, uh, the bid uh, came in at uh, uh, Huh? Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I had it. I thought I had it in my fingertips, and then all of a sudden, it didn't. Uh, yeah, four hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred and sixty-five dollars um, and uh, thirty-three cents. And uh, I would like to make a motion to approve that um, for uh, Central Valley Engineering and Asphalt. I'll make a motion to approve the pavement rehabilitation project with Central Valley Engineering and Asphalt. I'll second. All right, and that will come out of street reserves just for. That comes out of street reserves, however, it's a, um, help me out, Rod, here. What was the, the we were over on, on the reserve slightly. Yeah, it's actually, um, if doing the base bid in both at all day and B, um, it's about $60,000 over our um, reserved amount for this year. Maintenance committee had a lot of, well, as uh, finance committee, both committees had a lot of discussion on it and, and uh, felt as though uh, it's uh, probably our biggest asset that the association has and they wanted to see us move forward on uh, on all of the work. Okay. Have we used Central Valley? Before? We have. Okay. Because it seems to me, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, it seems like we had used Bostic for a couple of years now. Anyway. We've used Bostic probably more than anybody else over the course of the last 10, 15 years, but uh, Central Valley certainly is qualified. Okay. And it is Bostic's bids quite a bit higher, so. I mean, I understand going with the lowest bid. If we don't do the concrete job <clears throat> that that gentleman was talking about, are we even there, or is, that, is it not worth it? He's well, gone. I have a he's gone. I have right? a concrete job in front of um, my walkway in my oh, house. Yeah. The, the thing you guys swing over and just take care of that, yeah. along with the tree that I need to get rid of at the same time. Though. I might also note that uh, <laughs> this this bid at uh, slightly under uh, five hundred thousand dollars could not have any any contingency for. Um, extra expense that we normally stick into those bids, then that was um, were our attempt to uh, minimize the, the overall cost by about oh, maybe sixty seventy thousand dollars And w when would the work be done, Rod? Generally? Well, we, if approved, I'll make the, um, a call to uh, our consultant tomorrow and he'll notify the, um, the low bidder um, at that time, we'll talk about schedules. I do have um, a couple of concrete things that I've got to stay on top of him with, or get, be ahead of him, um, as well as a couple of leaks in our roadways uh, that the CSD's got to get repaired before they can uh, come in and do the repairs on the roadway. So 
I would guess that it would be the latter part of August. Um, or I'm hoping that it's going to be by the second week to the to the last part of August. Okay. Anything else? All right. Hearing none. All in favor of approving uh, the motion uh, for four hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred sixty-five dollars and thirty-three cents out of street reserves to authorize Central Valley Engineering and Asphalt to do the twenty seventeen asphalt rehabilitation project. Say aye. 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 Any opposed? It passes unanimously. Um, we also discussed the preliminary budget uh, for 2018, and we will continue to be working with that and finalize it and have more detail for you later on. And I, think, I would expect that, that we'll have a, uh, I guess, a recommendation when, when and if we have our, not if, but when we have our budget workshop, probably right. at the end of August, I guess, if. Sure. You know, um, and then, uh, Rod, did you have anything else you wanted to add to the Greens Park uh, work? No, no, I don't believe so. I think uh, Greg's kind of covered it. We've got a uh, full-time crew out there working um, pretty diligently on it right now and uh, making some good headway. Okay, and then uh, I ended you just a few minutes ago at the beginning of the meeting, the, the project list, which hasn't changed significantly. but. Uh, one of the things that Rod and I wanted to do with this list is, as we proceed uh, in, the, in the near uh, months is to work on this list that says to be determined and kind of prioritize that or see who, uh, what we can move off of that list and put on another list that's just general maintenance or, or something or, uh, you know, start addressing uh, with the board more some of these individual items like uh, like lighting the tennis courts and right. basketball courts and things so we're going to kind of focus on that bottom portion in the near future and that's all that we had all right thanks uh, before we leave maintenance um rod to you and your crew for the fourth as always thank you outstanding job thank you. i truly appreciate it when we get to, to wreck if we have one denise and her staff level. Um, it's good to hear uh, it's the best fireworks show ever. And that's what people say every time and, and it, it goes to staff. So so thank you so much. Uh, and then thank you for having it on the fourth, Mr. President. Yeah, well, I try. Yeah. <laughs> it's tough scheduling that every year. Yeah. Can we have the fourth, please? Um, all right, uh, before we move on to the next committee, I see Brandon's here from Greenfield. Do you have anything you want to add? You don't have to, but if... I'll speak at the uh, events on Saturday and Sunday. Okay. All right, Parks Committee is the next. The Parks Committee did not meet this month. All right, and then Alex is in here, but Rec Committee, anything for recreation, Denise? What, he can't give his own? <laughs> what? Did this start? Yeah. <laughs> video, video conference into Mount Whitney, huh? I'm off this board. <laughs> um, we've got the Giants versus the Cowboys game on August And it's a different bus than last time, I'm assuming? Just asking. No reason. <laughs> How many games are the Giants going to be out of uh, first place there? In the we can move this along. <laughs> we can move this along. <laughs> I should note that my nephew is a diehard Cubby fan, much to my chagrin. It's uh, <laughs> a good time to be a Cubby. I think he's 26. <laughs> and I'd like to thank everyone who um, volunteered to help with the traffic on the 4th and, and all of that stuff with the parade. It was very helpful and appreciate it. Thanks, Denise. Uh, it was Always enjoyable being traffic control. Oh, it's a good parade. It's actually, it was good. The, it some of the well. changes that were made, I thought it was the parade was just the right amount of time. There wasn't, and then also the fireworks show. Multiple people compliment, you know, about how good the fireworks show was. So, yeah, I had a uh, yeah, I heard great things about the fireworks, and then I had heard um, a, a couple of people oh, then they noticed a couple of fireworks went off after the show. I wonder what happened, but I was talking, I guess, to Greg earlier, and. I, I guess they just light them off if they don't light during the 
the show at yes. some point before. It's a safety so. issue. Thing. So, so. No, no, I want to put her back let in the, them, the, 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 the truck and take them, take them away and take their chances. <laughs> I think the comments on, on RM.com were very kind about all of the activities, you know, as opposed to when they kind of uh, came on and were not so kind when you were going to change the rules for the parade and stuff like that. I felt like the comments were very positive. I yeah. had a lot of people make comments that they really liked no water, um, yeah. but they didn't want to say so in public. <laughs> So that was nice to hear. I did, I did have one lady uh, chat with me about the fact that we eliminated water balloons. And uh, in, in the course of having a conversation with her, she suggested that we should, at the carnival after the parade, that we should line up all the board members and let people throw water balloons uh, for a dollar a balloon. Yeah. Well, then, we'll take care of that 60000 <laughs> I'll, move, I'll move for July 4th, all board members. <laughs> Next July 4th. And, and I'm thinking we could have a packed house if we just do it on a monthly basis. Yeah, okay? yeah. And then Greg reminded me that we did have, used to have a dunk tank. What, what, what happened to that? Uh, Sam got tired of being in it. <laughs> Anna Lee asked me to get rid of it. I'd be a little careful, Larry, because little known fact is there's some nooses up there on top of the no. new north, north gate that they can yeah. string down today. And, and, and I, think I've got, I think I've got about 20 people that, that want, to, want to use them when they exactly. see my Segway running around. So. <laughs> there you go. All right, anything else, uh, Denise? Correct. No, that's it. All right. Um, anything else? Hearing none. Um, our next... Uh, Board of Directors meeting will be August 15th, 2017 at 6.30 p.m. here in the RMA building. We are adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>